Okay then, this is my uh, review for uh, Final Fantasy XIII Play Arts action figure. Lightning! Um, yeah, wow, it's lightning in a box. I bought it for £30 off play.com, um, which is a rip off, but she's pretty cool. And you'll swallow it because you like Final Fantasy. Um, Okay, yeah, so Play sent me the box in nothing more than a polythene bag. So if you're into keeping the box, you're a collector or something like that, I'm not, but if, if, you, if you're the kind of person that doesn't even unpackage stuff, then forget about Play, they just don't pack stuff properly. Um, yeah, so this is how she comes. Let's open her up and see what you get inside. Oh, hi guys! It's um, it's lightning, uh, and what do you get? Lightning? If you get some, it's got some hands, yeah, two hands for holding her weapons. Um, also, she's got her fist hands there, so she's got plenty of hands, which is uh, always a bonus. Um, okay, so she first off, first thing you notice is, is she's incredibly well detailed. The paint job's good. It all looks pretty sweet so far. Um, she comes with a stand in the back. Um, so you can stand her up. She's got this horrible rubber stuff, which I'll get to later, which I've had problems with before. Um, and you get her sword gun thing, or oh, whatever you want to call it. I forget, it's got various names, hasn't it? Um, in open and closed position. Okay. The gun um, opens up. There are movable parts, which you may not notice, unless you bother to look at the instructions, which are like just a couple of comments really. Um, let's get this bit at the front open. Just wait there one sec. And you can enjoy my cup of tea. More tea vicar. Right, sorted. Okay, so yeah, little sort of blade handle. I don't know, just fancy bit for folding out. Um, I have no idea what that bit's for, but um, there you go, the gun's open, you close it and you can put it back in the uh, Get it back in a holster as the instructions point out. You must close it to put it in a holster. I mean, it goes without saying, really, doesn't it? But there you go. There's a few retards out there, probably won't. Um, so, yeah, it looks good. Let's get her on a stand, see how detailed she is, what she's about. Um, see you in a moment. Okay, so here's Lightning. I've put her on a stand, which was a bit of a mess around really because um, unless you get counterbalance just right the joints on the stand are not that stiff so it doesn't take much for them to um, buckle under her weight um, like I said it's pretty cool you can change change the feet so you can get some good angles but because those joints are so weak it really limits um, what you could have done what sort of poses you could have got out of her um, had those joints have been a bit stiffer really a bit of a shame now really but it's a nice a nice addition to stand anyhow because um, I'm not too sure how much she'd stand under her own weight um, but everything's pretty poseable even like the feet move from side to side I'm gonna knock her off her stand if I mess about too much but um, yeah feet move from side to side um, knee joints are good the actual quality of the build is really good um, as well as the detail, you see like the paint job's pretty sweet on it. I haven't gone over the edges. Um, that's pretty nice looking. Um, again, I hate this rubber. I don't know what else they'd use really to be honest, but um, I really don't trust this rubber at all not to crack in the sun and break. Um, it might be better quality than past figures I've had, my Battle of the Planets ones just fell to bits, um, so, you know, take that into account. This was what had broken when it arrived, that clips on under a skirt, except um, it's, actual, it's an actual joint, so, um, so it's come unstuck or broken, I guess it was done when it's packaged by, um, I don't know, by a machine or by a person, I have no idea, but, um, I've got to return it anyhow. Um, 
overall I'm pretty happy with it, yeah, it's a lot of money for what it is, but it's pretty cool, and that's the only way you're going to get it, so suck it up if you're into Final Fantasy, I guess. Um, or I hope they've got some characters left. I've noticed the Star Ocean ones you can pick up for, for a tenner now, so I mean, if you, if you haven't got much money and and you still want it, I guess look on eBay or sit on it for a year or something and you can maybe pay a reasonable price for it. 30 quid from play.com but it's really not worth it because they don't package things properly so I'd check out Amazon or something where they actually put things in boxes. Um, I even got sent a hard drive from play.com in a jiffy bag. That's pretty um, retarded play.com. Um, or check out your local comic store or whatever. I mean, they're going to sell it in a few places. You can actually buy it off Square's merchandise site, which is a pretty cool place actually. They just did all the, the engagement necklace. I think it's about £179 and sold out um, very quickly, but um, it's worth checking out. You can't get it from there, but you pay postage, so it works out two or three pounds more. But then they might put it in a box, <laughs> might get it in one piece. Um, but yeah, it looks cool. It's going to look good, especially if you've got like, a display case or something. Um, I'm not really into collecting this sort of stuff, I'm just really into the Lightning character. Um, she's a pretty moody and pretty cool role playing character. Um, so I kind of wanted it. I may get a couple of the others that I like. Um, they just need to do a chocobo, really. That would be pretty sweet. Um, so that's all I can tell you really, it's it's way too much money but if you've got it you'll pay it, it's pretty sweet. There you go, ta-ta for now, bye. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That is a little freaky actually. What? That's lightning in bits. You could um, make some pretty silly videos with that lot. Just saying.